Jasmine's a mom. I'm not sure what that makes me, but we're gonna find out this week on the YYC Nature Center YouTube channel. Hello once again everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel and uh, we're doing some mammals this week. It's been a bit since we've done a mammal and uh, I think actually our last mammal update was our two chinchillas, KJ and Meatloaf, which have just celebrated their first birthday. They were born January 22nd of 2022 and uh, they were born to this girl here and the dad is uh, Jasper. And we had kind of talked about what our plans were and what we wanted for the future for, for our chinchillas. And uh, we decided that we were going to do one more uh, set of breeding and uh, see what happened. So Jasper and Jasmine were together again. And this time we knew that she was pregnant. It was a surprise with Meatloaf and KJ. And it was very stressful because we were like, it felt like she should have been having the babies for like three weeks. We could see them even moving in her. Uh, we were worried as, you know, a lot of times we are when it's, a, when it's a new animal and when it's our pets that like the babies were stuck or something had happened. And then, well, it finally happened and uh, the babies were born. So what do you think? Should we show them your babies? Now we have not named these two yet. But these are our, I guess about six week old chinchillas. So they have grown a lot already um, and look like chinchillas. When they were first born, they look, you have poop on your face. That's, did you just poop on your sibling? Um, this is gonna be a fun wrangling. Uh, so when they were first born, they almost kind of looked like little, little puppies, like little uh, uh, like terriers or something like that. And then as they have grown, they have uh, become more and more chinchilla-like. So we have not named them yet. Uh, the white one's a little bit bigger than the gray one. Uh, but the gray one also has white on its rear end. So they do actually look quite different from their first batch of siblings. I know you guys are so cute and curious. Now, the funny thing, or the cool thing about them, uh, they are actually born fully furred, unlike most rodents and they are um, able to move and walk around and explore fairly young. At about the eight week mark is when they can be weaned from mom. Um, so we're two or three weeks away from that happening. Um, but these guys are probably tripled in size since, uh, since they were born. And it looks like, <laughs> they're like, we want a nurse. And she's like, we're not in a nursing spot right now. Hi guys. I uh, didn't realize how much I would fall in love with chinchillas uh, until we got them. Um, when we were putting together the concert at the Nature Center, we kind of wanted animals that were <laughs> uh, different uh, in terms of exotics from you know things that are common like rabbits and guinea pigs. Um, so the chinchillas were the first ones that I kind of went, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get. But these were actually the second mammals we got after we got some degus. And they've got so much personality. They're, <laughs> they're, they're active, um, but you know, they, they're not super cuddly like some other mammals, but they will, um, they will hang out. Uh, you know, you saw Jas uh, Jasmine was sitting on me at the start. Um, hay and uh, chinchilla pellets and a little bit of uh, greens is what we feed them. Right now the babies have started eating uh, as well as continuing to nurse. So this is our newborn chinchilla family. Um, and uh, unfortunately, uh, this video has some, um, a sad part to it, but I wanted to talk about it because it is reality and it is a reality of having pets. Um, and it's something that uh, 
I've definitely been wrestling with uh, the decisions. So we had decided that we were going to do two sets of babies and that's it. So whatever was going to happen, uh, you know, whether she had two babies or four babies or five babies, <laughs> that was too small for you. Oh, okay. Um, that uh, this was going to be it. So on October 29th, uh, we took Jasper in and had him neutered. Uh, you cannot spay uh, chinchillas because they will, the females will not survive the surgery, but males are typically fine. So we, uh, we took him in, the surgery went great, uh, he didn't even chew his stitches, he was very much himself after coming out of, uh, out of the anesthetic. Um, you can't really get like cones for chinchillas, so we were a little worried about the stitches. Uh, unfortunately, right before Christmas, we noticed some swelling uh, on his uh, back end, and so we booked a vet appointment. And uh, the surgery, um, the opening that the surgery had gone through had uh, herniated. So basically what that meant is it opened and uh, his guts basically pushed in and pushed the skin out and uh, basically made a lump. Um, Chinchillas, there's not a lot of research that's been done, you know, in, in terms of... It's not as common to do surgeries as it is with dogs and cats. And uh, our vet, which is Falcon Ridge Vet Clinic in Calgary, um, did a ton of research, spent a whole bunch of time uh, talking on some of her boards online on the, with other vets about if anyone had successfully done uh, the surgery. Um, and the end result was uh, surgery was an option, but it would have been extremely expensive. No guarantee he wouldn't have died on the table and no guarantee that it would have worked and no guarantee that it would have prevented it from happening again. Uh, so for his quality of life, with discussion with the vet, we decided uh, the most humane thing to do was to put him down. Uh, with it being over Christmas, a lot of vets were uh, gone, and unfortunately, he uh, took a turn for the worse before we could have a set appointment. So on uh, December 27th, I took him to uh, emergency vet and uh, said goodbye. And uh, you know, you, you lose animals, especially when you have a lot. Um, you know, any kind of zoo, any kind of facility, even people who breed. Um, and some animals, you know, affect you more than others. And uh, especially because there was kind of the guilt of whether or not, you know, he would have been okay if we hadn't done the neutering. But uh, both the emergency vet and our vet said that was the, the proper choice to make because uh, we didn't want to add more baby chinchillas to the, to the world. But unfortunately, uh, we say goodbye. So, we don't know the gender of these babies yet. I'm really hoping that the white one is a girl um, because I do not want to go through neutering again and obviously we are not going to breed mom to baby. But uh, the fact that this little one came out kind of a combination of both parents, white with a little bit of gray on his head, or her head hopefully, um, I'm really hoping that she's a she and that uh, we can keep her and, uh, and have her be uh, one of our ambassador animals and kind of carry on the legacy that her dad started here at the center. And so that's the reality of having pets. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's heartbreaking, but you know, getting to share them both here at the center and on videos like this uh, is, is something really special and I'm really glad that we get to do it. So, um, you know, even though it's kind of a somber thing to end things on and kind of weird to switch and be like, now make sure you subscribe. Um, I'm not going to do a whole spiel. Our info is down below. Um, so, you know, if you want to see more of these guys growing up and see more of our animals, you can also check out a video of Jasper and Jasmine here. Uh, you can uh, check out all of our videos from the past couple of years. Uh, you can subscribe and uh, I promise we'll have happier videos. And even though this is kind of a sad one, it's still ridiculously cute. I'll see you next time.